Welcome back to Rally New Zealand, an event that provides unique conditions for the crews and cars with very fast sections mixed with slower, heavily cambered areas. This means that car setup is crucial and part of this is the anti-roll bar, situated at the front and rear of the cars. Chris Atkinson explains. Okay, let's start from the base when we have no roll bar in the car, which is, is sort of your base setup. In New Zealand terms, where the roads are very cambered, this would actually make the car not so bad to drive, especially in the slow, because as you can imagine, the wheels would, would follow the road really well and be very independent. So it's not so bad in the slow, but as soon as you get to the fast, the car would become very lazy because the car would be rolling a lot, especially in the rear, and then you wouldn't be able to carry the corner speed that we can when we've got a roll bar. Okay, if we've got this small roll bar on the car in New Zealand, this would be perfect actually because the car's going to follow the road very well in the slow corners, like no roll bar because it's not very stiff, but also allows some support in the fast, like a tarmac car, where the car will stay very flat. So it's a compromise, and New Zealand's probably one of the places where you have to compromise a little bit because the roads are fast, but also slow and cambered in places. Now we look at the, the stiffest and, and biggest bar in the range. This is, this is like a tarmac bar, but we can also run it on gravel. Say we were to run this in New Zealand, this would make the car very difficult to drive in the twisty and, and cambered sections. When you've got a massive camber and one wheel is up in the centre of the road and the other wheel is going down in the dip, if it hangs up in the air because of the, the force across the car, then it's never going to be in contact with the road. You'll see cars spinning, going off into the trees, and we don't really need that. Now we'll have a look at the roll bar in place in the car. You've got one here put in by the mechanics that runs across the car. You've also got this blade which connects to the drop link and this in turn connects to the upright. As a result, the force from the wheel moving up will come up through the, the drop link, through the blade, and the result of that is the roll bar twisting or not twisting a lot in case of the bigger bar. Altogether, this package should give us a fast car and hopefully a good result.